Hey everybody, my name is Jake Quintana and I'm an applications engineer for Aero Electronics. In this video, we'll be going over the PSOC 64 Standard Secure AWS Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Kit. We'll cover the contents of the development kit, key features of the kit, and the basic steps you need to complete to get up and running. First, let's take a look at what's in the box. Your kit comes with the PSOC 64 Standard Secure AWS Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Board itself, a USB cable, a quick start guide including $10 worth of free AWS credits, and a variety of jumper wires. At the core of this development platform is the PSOC 64 Standard Secure AWS Microcontroller from Infineon Technologies. This MCU is purpose-built to work seamlessly with AWS IoT Core cloud services. PSOC 64 Secure MCUs feature an award-winning ultra-low power dual-core architecture. The ARM Cortex-M4 core provides a powerful, rich, non-secure processing environment for your application. Isolated from the M4 is a Cortex-M0 Plus core that acts as a security coprocessor. This establishes a secure processing environment along with a hardware-based root of trust that delivers an immutable, unclonable identity. In addition, the PSOC 64 has hardware-accelerated cryptography and a true random number generator. PSOC 64 Secure Bootloader enables secure boot and secure firmware updates that make certain your device is always running the right software. Also on board is the Murata Type WendyX module hosting Infineon CYW4343W radio, providing 802.11 and compliant Wi-Fi plus dual mode Bluetooth. Other feature sets of this exciting kit include industry-leading CapSense capacitive sensing, Exelon Ultra FRAM, as well as FLL NOR flash for external memory, and Arduino headers allowing you to easily expand the kit's capabilities. This kit is also FreeRTOS qualified. FreeRTOS is a real-time operating system that includes a kernel and a growing set of libraries for connectivity, security, and firmware over-the-air updates. FreeRTOS supports both the CMake build flow as well as a make build flow with the Infineon Modus Toolbox software environment. Being free RTOS qualified ensures this kit has out-of-the-box interoperability with AWS IoT Core. Of course, with any IoT device, you want to ensure that it stays secure. That's why it's important to note that the Infineon PSOC 64 MCU has achieved ARM Platform Security Architecture, or PSA, certification. In large part, this was accomplished due to the implementation of Trusted Firmware M or TFM, that reliably creates a secure processing environment for microcontroller core architectures like the PSOC 64. So now, I'd like to show you some of these features in action and how easy it is to jumpstart your journey of developing your own secure IoT application. The first thing you need to do is to go to the AWS documentation website to access the getting started guide for this particular kit. For this video, I will walk you through some of the key steps you need to complete using this guide. First, you need to create and activate an AWS account. Just hop online and go to aws.amazon.com and follow the steps outlined to create an AWS IoT account. Next, you need to add an IAM, which stands for Identity and Access Management. This allows you to manage your AWS services and resources securely. Once that's complete, here's how to load secure keys and policies into the device. First, Create a new policy featuring your own AWS region and AWS account ID. Next, create what AWS calls a thing. And generate a unique certificate and private key for it. Then download that certificate and private key locally onto your PC. Finally, activate the certificate, attach the policy to the thing, and register it with AWS. Next, you need to set up your development environment. For this demo, we will be using Modus Toolbox in the Makeflow. We'll use the Eclipse IDE delivered with Modus Toolbox, but you could use a partner IDE such as IAR Embedded Workbench, ARM MDK, or Microsoft Visual Studio. There are many free RTOS demos available through the PSOC 64 Standard Secure Kit, but for this video, I'll showcase exactly how to program the MQTT demo. To start, you need to get the free RTOS package by cloning the Amazon free RTOS Git repository or following the Amazon Quick Connect workflow. 
Then import the AWS Demos project into the Modus Toolbox workspace from the specified folder location in the FreeR toss package. You will then need to modify the AWS client credential.h file using your Wi-Fi credentials, endpoint address, and the thing name you created. Next, format their certificate and private key that were downloaded from AWS by utilizing their certificate configurator.html tool provided in the free RTOS package. Now save the AWS client credential keys.h file into the free RTOS demos include folder and it will replace the existing file that has the same name. In Modus Toolbox, you should now be able to see the new AWS client credential keys.h file complete with the formatted certificate and private key. Next, set the kit to the CMSIS DAP bulk mode. Now build the AWS demos application and ensure that there are no errors once the application has finished compiling. Using the built image, program the kit. Open a serial terminal to view the status of the running application and the initialization steps on the target device that are required to connect to AWS. In the AWS IoT console, configure the MQTT client tool to subscribe to the topic names IoT demo slash pound. Reset the kit with SW1 and observe the messages being sent from it to the specified topic the MQTT client is listening on. That's it. Your device is now onboarded to the AWS cloud with all security features pre-configured. Other demos you can do on your own include Bluetooth low energy demo, over the air updates demo, secure sockets echo client, and the AWS IoT device shadow demo. That's a high level overview of the Infineon PSOC 64 standard secure AWS Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer kit and how easy it is to start developing a secure cloud connected IoT design. To order yours, go to arrow.com slash PSOC 64. For more details, including step-by-step -step instructions, you can access the full Getting Started Guide at the following URL. And don't forget, if you have any questions, Infineon and Arrow are here to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.